Welcome to Thriver TV, the place to break free from narcissistic abuse with quantum tools and understandings. One thing you need to know about narcissists is that they smear you virtually in every case. Why do they do it? Because it's unthinkable for the narcissist to take responsibility for their poor behavior or to self-reflect or do something about it because the false self is beyond reproach. Therefore, it's got to be somebody else's fault. And if you've been in a toxic relationship with a narcissist, according to them, it's yours. How a narcissist appears to other people is everything. When there is no true self available to know self and feel whole within the self, all supply is required from others. Therefore, it's unthinkable to the narcissist to be exposed for being pathological, defective and wrong. And if people were to disown the narcissist and turn away in droves, this would mean that the narcissist could no longer extract narcissistic supply, which is attention and acclaim or stuff from these people. And in a black and white world of dog eat dog, which the narcissist ego is firmly entrenched in, this means that for he or she to be right, somebody else has got to be wrong. And the narcissist also believes that the best defense to their potential exposure is to crucify you publicly first. So this happened to me with narcissist number one horrifically, as I know it has happened to so many of you. A hundred percent. It happens to so many people in this community. And that's what today's Thriver TV episode is all about. It's about my personal story of how I got caught up so terribly in the smearing and how I fit it and how I got even more lined up. And then how eventually I found the exact keys to break free from his smearing and reverse its effects. The problems in my narcissistic marriage were numerous with the most obvious being his intense jealousy and possessiveness. And according to the ex-narcissist, I was continually on the lookout for an affair. I was probably having one and I was never to be trusted. And those of you who've also experienced this, you know how devastating it is to have eyes for one person and nothing you can do will ever make them feel secure. So anyway, his extreme jealousy and control, it was pathological, it was malicious and it was dangerous and it was breaking me. Yet so many people never saw the insane and violent outbursts that were happening behind closed doors. To them, he was charming, intelligent and lovely. And what people also saw was my steady disintegration. I was losing my mind and it showed. One night I overheard him on the phone talking to a family member about my irrational behavior and how I had terrible psychological issues. And I also find, found out that he told one of his workmates that I was ridiculously possessive and controlling of him. When I would confront him, he told me I'd heard things wrongly. That's not what he'd said at all, which of course made me feel like I was losing my mind even more. And you know all this story if you've experienced it and so many of you have. And at that point of the game, I had no idea that people can make up stories about other people in such convincing ways. And little did I know that because he was a narcissist, he believed his own lies, genuinely he did. And as the marriage fell apart more and I was starting to try to get away from his emotional, mental and physical violence, I started to realize that he was dismantling my support structures. My parents by this time, they were seriously questioning my fidelity. And even my son started to side with the narcissist. Friends, including a previous best friend, colleagues, and even my accountant, who'd been a lifelong family friend, were all deserting me and siding with the narcissist. Which was, you know, it was horrific at the time. And this is the thing, narcissists have no conscience and they don't have any boundaries. They're capable of saying literally anything to people to get them on side. 
And this is what normal people think when they hear the narcissist lies. Somebody who looks me in the eye and tells me this terrible information wouldn't make up something like this. It must be true. And narcissists are so convincing when they do it. They know how to manipulate people and have them eating out of their hands, which the ex-narcissist, he used to tell me how skilled he was at doing that. Exactly that. He used to use that expression. I can have people eating out of the palm of my hands. And he was skilled at it like many narcissists. And narcissists, unlike triggered victims who don't get people's belief and support, they know how to be calm, cool and collected and present a story that seems balanced and not judgmental. You know, it goes something like this. I'm so worried about my wife. She's manically depressed. She's angry and I'm trying to help her and, I'm, and suggest that she gets help. And last week I discovered information in her computer about an affair that she's having and I confronted her and she went crazy. She attacked me. I'm trying to work through this with her and I don't know what to do with, of course, the appropriate accompanying looks at concern and care and helplessness. And of course, people believe this, even people who've known you for a long time and they see how depressed, angry and fragmented you are whilst the narcissist appears cool, calm and collected. I love what a dear friend of mine who works in domestic violence told me recently that police are starting to be educated regarding sociopaths when they're on domestic call outs. Because a partner who alleges that his partner has lost her plot and she started acting crazy is not going to be cool, calm and collected. He would be beside himself truly, but yet sociopaths put on that mask. Yet when smeared by a narcissist, what happens is the calm person is believed and the person hugely triggered by injustice and trauma and not being believed by people comes across crazier and crazier and has people turn away and against them, which I'm sure you have probably experienced. It's exactly what happened to me. The sicker I got, the more I was smeared and the more I was smeared, the more I lost the plot trying to prove my innocence to people who were siding with the narcissist. And my entire life and support structures were all crumbling around me, including certain people who I thought would never desert me. They did. And I hadn't realized quantum law at this stage, the energetic truth of so within, so without. Rather, I was enmeshed heavily in the deep, terrible trauma of the terror of what people thought of me, the injustice of lies, the narcissist's lack of accountability, the unfairness of it all, and the horrific lack of support from my people. And if we were to rate the level of my trauma about these things, it was intense. It was much more like a 100 out of 10 rather than just a 10 on the scale. How could life be so unfair and cruel after what I'd suffered? As a victim, I didn't realize that life was always only poised to grant me more of my beingness, which I'd firmly made about what was going on outside of me. And in reaction to that, my beingness was emotionally vibrating very loudly with trauma, injustice and victimhood. Life source God, whatever we want to call a higher power, then granted me more of that, the law of consciousness and result, as it always does. That's how much this higher power loves and responds to us unconditionally without any judgment at all, which is what it always does. I believe I was truly blessed by the narcissist smear campaigns. And I know you might think that sounds crazy, but I'm gonna to explain to you why for this following reason. I lost everything and everyone, and there was only one place left to turn, which was inwards to myself. Before this time in my life, I'd always been positioned in life as a codependent. My feelings and states always depended on what other people and situations were doing in my life. 
because I hadn't yet discovered how to create my own feeling states and realities despite what other people were or weren't doing. When I did turn inside to heal because there was nothing and no one left on the outside and nowhere else to turn, a miraculous thing happened. In my epiphany on my bathroom floor, I realized that all of this stuff hadn't been happening to me, it had been happening for me. The narcissist being a catalyst, a sole contract in my life to bring forth the painful and vital evidence regarding how I had not been whole within myself. When I started healing the terrible traumas, which were 100 out of 10 in intensity, regarding smearing with inner identity quantum tools, which was quantum freedom healing, what I discovered was what gets triggered off with most of us when smeared, ancient, past life epigenetic and very young, hello Tiggy, and very young survival programs about the terror of being wrong. And these are shocking fears of being persecuted, punished, cast out and even executed for being judged as bad, wrong or defective. Literal terrorizing survival programs that were so powerfully activated within me that I felt like if I didn't change other people's ideas about me, that I would surely die. And I realized how these deep primal terrors had limited me so much from expanding and going for my life. That caused me to people please, hand power away, not rock the boat. And they'd never allowed me to be fully myself. When I healed these fears deep inside me, what I discovered is that I didn't care what anybody else thought of me. I no longer felt like I was gonna be court-martialed, executed or abandoned by people and life if they didn't like me. I started to feel whole, alive and safe, even though there were so many of my support structures, contacts and connections that were possibly gone forever. It didn't matter now because I'd firmly come back home to myself. I discovered going forward that I was able to start speaking up, confronting things and being myself. And there was no longer the angst around people judging me or believing I might be bad or wrong. I realized how much this had haunted me my entire life. And here is the big thing. If it hadn't been for the narcissist bringing me to my knees regarding my terrors of what people thought about me, thus bringing up my persecution programs, I would never have healed this, which had already existed within me. Here is the miracle that happened after this. People started turning their back on the narcissist and coming back to me in droves. My key people saw the truth. He screwed up with them and the police caught him out. He became exposed. The justice I wanted came, not because of anything I did, but because of my beingness. So within, so without. When I validated and came home to knowing, believing and loving and accepting myself, despite all outer conditions and regardless of what people thought about me, the outer conditions had to shift to match this. It's quantum, indisputable law. I hope that my personal story inspires you to know that life can only grant you more of your beingness. No amount of doing this from a shattered beingness will grant you the shift you want. There's only one place to tend to regarding narcissistic smearing inside you to heal everything that's being triggered and terrorized by the behavior. Then you will discover what I did that when you no longer require anybody else to believe you, support you or know who you are because you have shored all of that up within yourself, that is precisely when they do. We never get what is missing. We only get more of who we are. 
Additionally, you also get to evolve beyond a previous limiting belief and in a program that was stunting you in your life in more ways than you can imagine. Narcissists are a mega push towards our evolution. They force us to do it. And smearing is one of the ways they do. If something inside you knows what I'm saying is the way home and out of this, then let me show you the quantum way to heal from narcissistic abuse, the way that works. This is the way that so many people report every day on my numerous channels and in gratitude emails to our support team, the results that are real. And I know once you get started, you can be on your way to relief, power and breakthrough too. So to get this started, you can sign up to my free 16 day course, which has so many other free empowering resources for you as well. And to do this, just click the link at the top right of this video. And please make sure you like and subscribe so that you get notified as soon as each new video is released. Also, please share this information with somebody who you know needs help right now because it could save their life emotionally and literally. And I look forward to conjoining with you to have a conversation about your smearing experiences and any questions that you may have. So until next time, keep smiling, keep healing and keep thriving because there's nothing else to do. Lots of love. Bye-bye.